Esava, this is GF Laserball coming at you with another Destiny video. What is going on, Guardians? Welcome to today's video. I want to say thank you guys for all the massive support you guys have shown on the channel. Don't forget to turn on your notifications and hit that like. Also, want to remind you guys to please don't forget that on Wednesday, 10 a.m., we're going to see the new gear and the new stuff coming into Destiny with Age of Triumph. So definitely tune in for that. We will be streaming that live on the channel. But without further ado, let's see what Sir has for this time around. Drum roll, please, boys. We have the Legacy Ingram. And these are our Leg Ingrams, fellas. So remember, Legacy Ingrams all are old stuff. So you guys pick these up. If you're new to Destiny, there's only going to give you old uh, old gear. So keep that in mind. Next up, we have the Glass House. Which is uh, it actually Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light lasts a little bit longer. The Glass House is actually a helmet that's not used that much, but it's very effective, especially in PVE. And uh, if you don't have it, I would highly recommend it uh, just because, you know, we're going to be start doing the new raids. And, uh, you know, you're probably going to be playing a, a lot of PVE lately. So uh, do consider that into your uh, arsenal. Next up, we have the Shinobi Vows. Shinobi Vows by far were one of my favorite gauntlets when I used my Hunter. Very, very effective before they actually nerfed the Blade Dancer. You know, you used to be able to run with these uh, double skip grenades, and they used to cause havoc in PvP and in the Crucible. Would pick it up just in case, you know, they, we get a little bit of a buff now that we're getting the patch in March. Uh, so maybe, you know, maybe, you know, um, Blade Dancers become relevant a little bit more this time around. Last but not least, we have the Ram. The Ram helmet is another really good helmet. Highly recommended in my point of view. One of the best helmets. It's the only helmet that allows the Warlock to achieve max armor. So if you are looking for a helmet uh, for your Warlock class and you don't run any other sort of exotics, then definitely pick up the Ram. Next up, we have the infamous and one and only Telestal. It's a fusion rifle. Uh, this one is really, really good. Highly recommend you guys picking it up. Not only is it good in PvP, uh, you know, but it's really, really good when there's Boyvern in any sort of Nightfall. And uh, now that we're getting, you know, different sort of modif modifiers within the Nightfall, uh, you might want to pick this one up if you haven't so already. If you have to pick between all three of them, if you have all three classes, my, I would recommend definitely number one, the Ram. Uh, number two, the Shinobis. And number three, the Glass House. Uh, just because it's not used that often, people use some, some, sometimes use, prefer the scene of 14. So, you know, that's the only reason I rate that one a little bit lower. Uh, one thing I do want to recommend you guys is don't forget to buy, uh, now that we're getting close to Age of Triumph, you're going to want to go ahead and buy some heavy ammo synthesis just because you might want to use these to either, you know, level something up and uh, get enough of these just to have ready. Also, would recommend picking these up because remember, the new raids are coming out. You guys are going to be running through heavy really, really fast. It's better for you guys to start stocking up now than to wait till the new raids come out. And you're like, oh crap, I didn't buy no, I don't have no heavy ammo synthesis. It's better you have more heavy ammo synthesis than you need. Uh, just because the new raids, not, I keep saying the new raids, but the old raids are going to be relevant again. So I highly recommend you guys stock up on heavy ammo synthesis. Another thing I want to recommend is you guys buy your glass needles. You're probably wondering, why do I want to buy glass needles? You want to buy glass needles because this is going to allow your gear to hit that uh, tier 12 build. If you're trying to hit tier 12, you're going to want to make sure you have that because that's going to allow you uh, to you know maximize whatever type of build you're trying to get. If you're trying to do a 4 4, four a 552, five, whatever side of build, you're going to want to make sure each of your exotics coincides with the build you're trying to build. So would recommend you guys do that as well. And one last thing I want to recommend you guys, I don't know if you guys are aware, but I haven't posted up the video yet, but we are going to be uh, you know, get preparing for uh, Age of Triumph. And what you're going to want to do is at least have one of these if you're trying to collect all the ships, not the, uh, all the you know, all the... Um, not ships, but all your sparrows, because this is going to allow you guys to uh, buy one of these. And once you acquire one of these, you're going to look for the green sparrow, which I believe I have on here. Do I have a green sparrow? No, I don't have a green sparrow. Let me transfer my green sparrow real quick here and to show you guys what I mean, because that's going to unlock. Um, here we go. Let's transfer this one here. And then once you have a green one, uh, you can definitely go ahead and equip this one. And I believe you could upgrade this one. You should be able to upgrade it. So hold on. Let's go here. We should be able to upgrade this sparrow. What the heck? How come it's telling me upgrade the sparrow? 
All right, I'm gonna have to ch check why this is not letting me upgrade. But you could upgrade. Why There's certain sparrows you could upgrade. I think it's the blue sparrows. My bad, not the my bad, not the green one, the blue ones. So what you uh, what you could do is you go to the vendor, pick up a blue one, and upgrade the blue one to a purple one, and you guys should be good and um, you know figure out exactly if you're missing a sparrow or not. So that's what I have for you guys this time around. And let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are happy with what Zerb brought. If you're not, let me know in the comment section down below. What's up, Ride? Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget, guys, tomorrow we will be streaming some trials. If you're trying to go ahead and get help within Trials of Osiris, don't forget, guys, to tune into the stream. Turn on your notifications so you know when that goes live. And don't forget, guys, for all things Destiny, make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.